Hello and welcome back once again to the GeForce IT Service Academy. This is the lesson 18 in the creation of our school management system. In our previous lesson, we started designing a user form like this for the student details. So in this lesson two, we are going to continue with the, the, the form design. So if you are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification button for all and make sure that you watch this video from the beginning to the end don't skip any part of this video all right so let's come to the option buttons here then let's name them opt1 so let's go opt1 like this then we come to the second one to opt2 like this then we come to this one cmd add so cmd add then capital a the d add then you enter then this one cmd reset so let's select all then cmd reset like that then we come to this one cmd close cmd close then we enter we come to this one here cmd search like that then we come to this one here cmd update cmd update like that let's come to this one here so cmd add photo cmd add photo like that okay so we are done with that one now let's quickly go back to the the user uh, the, the student details table Let's quickly go back to the student details table and let's see what is going to happen. We need to create a new sheet there. And that new sheet is what we are going to use as our setting. So let's quickly close this one here and let's come to this side, the plus sign here. Let's create a new sheet and let's name it settings. So let's just double tap to name it settings. Like that so you hit enter then let's just start from five let's start from number five here let's skip this one let's come to this one here so we are going to write the names of our various classes here this is where we are going to do all our settings so that our system can work without any challenge so let's start by writing kg1 here then we move to kg2 like this then we move to basic one then we move to basic two then we move to basic three then we move to basic four then we move to basic five then we move to basic six Then we move to basic seven. Then we move to basic eight. Then we move to basic nine. So basic nine. Now in our various schools, we have some learners that always absent themselves from school. So we need to create a column for those stubborn ones too. So not in school. not in school so after everything you just select all like this so let's let's just expand this one here let's uh, try to expand the column there good so let's just select all like this then we come to the top here let's name it class 
please take note of this because you are going to use it somewhere we are going to use it for something very important so let's just hit enter so when we we select all like this again we should have that same name popping up class okay so let's quickly go back to our user form here then let's select the the combo box here let's select it then let's go to row source let's go to the row source then we change it to the class so let's select this one here i think this one can help us to quickly locate the row source All right so we have the row source here let's click on the row source then let's enter the class here class good so we have it there up and running okay so when we click on this drop down here we should be able to see the various classes popping up all right so let's quickly run our form and let's see what is going to happen there so let's run it like this so we have it there so when we click on that drop down we should be able to have the various classes there i hope you can see the various classes there so this is just interesting this is just interesting so we have it there now let's just close um this here let's quickly close it now let's go back to the student data sheet let's go to the student data sheet here like this then let's do some settings there we are going to do some settings here so let's just select the first column like this then let's name it number one after naming that one number one then let's quickly go to formula let's go to the formulas here so you name it and you leave it then let's go to the formulas here and let's come to name manager so let's let's select the one here then we come to name manager here good so when we click on the name manager the one that we just finished for the class is appearing here so anything that we enter the formulas that we use all of them will appear here so that our system can move smoothly now let's click on new here then let's name it data data then let's clear this thing here let's clear all this here so let's just go to that side of that then equal to you press equal to on your keyboard please pay attention to the formula that we are going to use here now let's go offset capital letters offset so o f f s e t then you open a new bracket like this then let's come to the top here let's select this good so after selecting that one then comma then one then comma then zero good so when you are done with that one then comma again comma then in caps counter so we move like that counter so c o u n t a then you open a new bracket like this then after that you select the entire column like this then you close the bracket you close the bracket like this then we are going to deduct something here we want the system to start numbering the, the, the admission number should start in the system from one it should start with one it shouldn't skip any column here so minus one like this minus one then comma 10 we we have 10 uh we have 10 columns inside the table here we have 10 columns inside the table here so let's make that side 10 let's make that side 10 so you close the bracket now let's just close the bracket now then we hit enter like this so we are done now let's quickly close this and go back to the the, the user form okay so we are done with that so let's quickly close this but please before we close this take note of the name that we give to this thing here because we are going to use it in the the user form we are going to use it to do some settings there so that it can be able to pick the data from the user form into the database table here okay so let's just click on close here then let's go back to our user form like this now let's come and select this one let's select the list box so after selecting the list box let's search for row source so we have it here 
row source. So let's just enter the name that we give to that thing in the student data table. So the name was data. Please make sure that you enter the same name. So let's just click enter like this. So we have it here. You have the various names here. We have the admission number, the name, the class, the gender, the date of birth, the date of admission. So let's just uh, debug it and run it and let's see how our system is going to operate. So we open it like this. Now we have everything here. So let's see. We have all the 10 uh, headings here. We have all the 10 columns. We have the 10 rows, everything here. So you can see from the system, the system has already named this one as number one. So we have everything selected here successfully. So this is how you you, you do your various settings in the user form. This is how you do your various settings. When we come to the class, everything is appearing here. But please, it's, it will just be funny if you didn't do it well. It will be funny. Uh, it will not work well. The system will not work. So let's just pay attention. So when I click on basic one, the system just selected basic one for me like that. So let's come to this. And those who are not in school, so in case the person is not in school, you just select not in school. Then it will just appear there like some magic. So we can just select male here and we can just select what female here so is that you select male or you select female so that is that so we have our user form here up and running without any challenge so thank you very much for watching this video in our next lesson we will look at another thing we'll look at how to insert the various codes that can help these buttons at the down here to work perfectly without any stress and without any problem so please don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and families to also benefit from so till our next lesson i say thank you very much for watching this video from the beginning to the end let's meet in that interesting lesson bye bye